Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training here. And in today's video, we're gonna work on unlocking your hips. We're gonna use a foam roller and we're gonna do a couple other stretches because as baseball players, we're constantly using our hips. When we hit, it's a rotational movement. Your hips are really, really involved. And it's the same when you throw. Your hips are very, very involved. And on top of that, you know, we use our hips in everything that we do. When we're fielding a ground ball, we're getting low like this. You know, our hip flexors are really in use a lot. Or when we're on first base and we're taking our lead, right? We're, we're shy, side shuffling. And then when we shuffle out like this, okay, do we bounce back? As baseball players, more than probably any other sport, we're always using our hips. And so I think a great way to improve your throwing velocity is to open up your hips and unlock them. You know, the power and the velocity is really, a lot of it's already inside of you, but it's about unlocking your hips to really, you know, play to your full potential. So the very first tool that we're gonna use is a foam roller. Now I have, I believe this is a 36 inch foam roller here. You can get ones that are half this size. They're a little bit easier to, you know, travel around with. You can throw them in your bag or your car or whatever. I would probably recommend the smaller ones if you plan on foam rolling at the field, okay? But I highly recommend one of these. If you don't have one, make use with what you have. You can foam roll with, you know, a medicine ball or a lacrosse ball. These work the best. I'd highly recommend you pick one of these up at your local sporting goods stores. But bottom line, use what you got, okay? So, all right, so let's put this on the ground and start foam rolling our legs. The very first one that I really like to do is just getting your quads nice and loose, okay? So foam rolling, it's easy, it's just back and forth, okay? You can focus on doing both legs at the same time, or, you know, if you have one of the shorter foam rollers, you might only end up doing one leg at a time like this, okay? But we're gonna work on our quad area, and then we're gonna roll a little bit, turn this way, work on our IT band area, okay? And then get into, that IT band feels good and then get into your hip area, your hip flexor, and you roll a little bit more like this. You'll see if I turn this way here and do the same thing, start out with my quad, okay? Working on my left quad here. Then I can turn a little bit, get that IT band, that side of your leg, and then work all the way up to my hip. Boom. And it's gonna feel a little bit uh, uncomfortable to say the least. You're gonna feel a little bit of pain, especially in your quad area, and your hip area, your hip flexor area, but that's okay, that's what you want. When you get to a sticking point, a pain point, it's okay to just stop for a second, settle in, focus on your breathing, and then continue. Foam rolling is supposed to be, you know, five, 10, 15 minutes, sort of a relaxing thing. So definitely, you know, just enjoy the pain. It's gonna make you feel a lot better afterwards, all right? So once we're done foam rolling, then it's time to move on to the next exercise. All right, so this is just a basic hip flexor stretch. We're gonna get on one knee, okay? And we're gonna have, so my right knee is on the ground. I'm gonna lean slightly forward and I'm gonna raise my opposite arm just like this, okay? A lot of people make the mistake of leaning way too far forward and then you start stretching that opposite hamstring. We're not trying to do that. We're just getting a slight stretch, a slight lean forward and then raise up that opposite arm. Just like that, boom. We're not bouncing or anything, this is just a stretch. Okay, so that is the basic uh, hip flexor stretch. I'll do the other side here, lean forward just slightly, okay? This arm up, boom. You'll really feel this kind of where, you know, that hip flexor begins. That's the basic hip flexor stretch. The next one is the pigeon stretch. Okay, so we're gonna get on the ground, we're gonna, put our legs similar to this, okay? And then we're gonna get on top and lean forward, just like this. Sink down in, boom. You can kind of roll a little bit more towards the middle if you'd like, and then towards the outside if you like, that'll kind of get different areas of your hip. Okay, and I'll show you the, the left side as well. So the first part is kind of just posting up your, your front leg, go as far as you can. Your goal is to get it parallel but obviously a lot of you guys are gonna have tighter hips like I do. So like this, and then you're just gonna lean over your knee, just like that. And that is the pigeon stretch. Okay, the next one, I like to call this one the goalie stretch. So we're gonna get down on both knees. You'll see goalies, hockey goalies do this kind of before uh, you know they start a game and they're doing the exact same thing. They're stretching out their legs and their hips. So our knees are gonna be wide, okay? We're gonna get down on our elbows and we're just gonna kind of sink back like this. 
and bring our butt towards the ground. Just sink back. Again, if this is another great one, if you want to just roll and rock back and forth just a little bit, we're not bouncing again. It's slow and controlled. We're breathing, but you can bounce back and forth just a little bit and you're really going to feel your legs kind of open up. All right, last one, you're going to need a medicine ball. It doesn't really matter the weight. That's not too important, but this is going to assist you in this particular exercise. But if you don't have one, you know, a basketball, a volleyball, whatever works. But again, we're going to get down like this. We're going to put the medicine ball in between our knees. Okay, and then I'm going to lean back once it's between my knees. And my goal is to, to put my feet outward like this, okay? Just like this, and my it's going to be pinched in between my knees, and my feet are going to go outward like this. You're going to notice in this one, as I'll demonstrate here, you're probably going to end up feeling a cramp on the outside of your hip. That's just because baseball players, we have really tight hips. And, uh, you know, if you do end up getting a cramp like I'm about to get, then you'll just know that it is definitely working, okay? So in between your knees like this, and then I'm going to try and squeeze my knees, pinch my knees together, and rotate my feet outward like this. And just hold that. And there we go. There's the cramp. Boom, just like that. So add these exercises into your dynamic warm-up, either before practice or before a game, or you can do them afterwards, but just be sure you're doing them. You can bring a foam roller, one of those little 18-inch ones. You can bring one of those to the field. A lot of you know high school and college ball players will do that. Uh, if you don't want to mess around with a foam roller and a medicine ball at the field, be sure you do it immediately following your practice or your game. But I promise you, if you work on these, your hips and your legs are going to feel so much better. You're going to be able to run easier. You're going to be able to swing easier, throw easier easier and it's just going to make your life a heck of a lot easier and make the game more fun on the field okay so if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave me a thumbs up get in the comment section below let me know what you want me to make future videos about and as always if you're not already be sure you're subscribed to the channel we're coming out with new baseball videos every single week so be sure you're subscribed you can click this circle right here right now to subscribe to the channel that way you'll be notified you'll never miss another video okay so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time